Hi and welcome to the June 5th auction preview of Asian Arts. We're going to start here with a selection of artwork. You can see we have a collection of 20th century signed Japanese prints, mostly of theater actors and geishas. We have two Japanese print triptychs, a beautiful carved gilt wood panel, uh, really intricately designed with warriors on horseback. It's really quite nice. There are detailed shots on our website. And here we have an absolutely beautiful um, antique Chinese painting on silk of two robed ladies and is potentially 17th or 18th century and by an attributed to the artist Du Xiao. We'll come back here with a grouping of porcelains and other Asian arts. This is absolutely stunning. This is from a Queen's estate um, and this is a Chinese Fami Vert uh, rouleau vase and you can see just the absolute wonderful intricacy to each of these panels. So there's various panels, no two are the same. But what's really nice is this ground, which is called fisheye crack. And um, you can see through the bottom, unfortunately it is drilled, but it's an absolutely beautiful example. And this is estimated at eight to 1200. Collection of Chinese Fami Ver rooster plates. So you can take a plate, look here, there's five roosters to each plate. And here's the underside. These are estimated at three to 500. Grouping of amber necklaces. This is probably copal, but these are both amber. We have the beautiful butterscotch amber, and then this is cherry and butterscotch. Some more jewelry. We have a pair of silver enamel Chinese wedding bracelets from an, I believe, Dobbs Ferry estate at three to 500. Collection of carved bangles and a carved salmon coral uh, figure of a wise man really quite nice, petite in size, but very well carved. We have these two lidded boxes with yellow ground, quite nice. A nice blue and white vase here with phoenixes and flowers. Again, here's the underside. We have this blue and white brush pot with horses and different animals and waves and clouds. So kind of these mythical beasts, which is nice. We have this Japanese cloisonne vase. So it is signed to the underside and you can see the floral decoration, which is quite nice in this beautiful green color. Two Chinese amber necklaces, large in size. You can see in comparison to my hand that they're really quite a nice size. Again, from our Queen's estate, so the same estate as our fisheye crack vase. This is finally Vert with scenes of figures in a landscape, nice age and an unusual form. So just a really nice shape. And this again is from our Queen's estate. These came in on one of our walk and Wednesday appraisal days. So it's Chinese Fami Rose, um, but you can see there's kind of an unusual, kind of an unfinished glaze to the body of these vessels, but they're decorated with food dogs and dragons and foliage, but really quite nice in the decoration. And this is beautifully done. And you can see it is drilled through the base, both are. Uh, we have a pair of 20th century cloisonne cranes, really decorative and beautifully done. Uh, these are at three to 500. We have this table screen, so the wood frame with the fitted base, and this is an erotic scene with a tiger, again at three to 500. A collection of snuff bottles with additional images of each, with the additional images of the bottom of each of these. So just a nice collection, and this is at four to 600. We have a Chinese silver enamel decorated lidded pumpkin or gourd form vessel or box with these coral and turquoise cabochons. They're really quite nice at four to 600. We have these two pieces from a Dobbs Ferry estate. So we have this Chinese Fami Rose bowl. So again with figures, you see the underside with this nice fitted base and then the smaller dish here. Three vases, one lot, so Chinese Fami Rose, a blue and white lidded jar with Fu Dog, and then this is really, this one's lovely. So it's Chinese Fami Ver, and this has uh, the blue souffle ground, which is nice. And there's a seal stamp and a double ring mark to the bottom. Uh, we have these two paintings of cranes. Um, came in from a woman on our walk on Wednesday appraisal days. There is an inscription, so each are signed. And there's an inscription on the back that identifies the art artist as, I believe, Kano Senseki. 
and it says it's from 18th century. So this is attributed to that artist. Um, I don't know for sure, but the two are together at four to 600, and they're very beautifully done, beautiful detailing. Pair of cloisonne double gourd vases. So cute little vases with the tops that come off and the fitted bases. These two are together. We have this nice, we have this nice Fami Rose Jardinier here with the fitted base. Unfortunately, there is a foot missing. So we have a missing portion here, but it's beautifully decorated. Really quite a nice attention to detail with birds and flowers. Um, and it is signed to the underside. A pair of cloisonne quatrefoil jardinieres with the carved stone flowers. These two are together at 1,000 to 1,500. And they also have the wonderful dragon form handles. Or I'm sorry, these are phoenix form handles. But really quite nice enamel work. Here we have a collection of Asian items. So we have this framed plaque with uh, scholar's items that is signed, a cinnabar plate, carved rooster finial, a little carved carnelian pig, I guess, and then this bronze elephant. Here we have a carved jade water buffalo with boy on a fitted stand, really very heavy, so I'm not gonna lift him up, but he's really well carved, nice color variations in the jade. We have a collection of blue and white, so various items from a Manhattan estate. We have a, um, a, a tendant, some vases, a bowl, a blue and white plaque, so really quite nice. And moving on to some more artwork, we have these two paintings, and these are attributed to Liang Boyu. Um, so they are both signed. This is pretty typical of his work. They are attributed to, but I do believe them to be right. They're both signed, quite nice. Would look beautiful framed. We have this watercolor of a gentleman. Um, it is signed, I'm just gonna move this over for a moment, but it is lot 294. So it is signed in the upper right hand corner and just a nice little watercolor of a man. So this here is by Kiyoshi Saito um, and this says design made in 1954, printed in 1955. Um, a nice little cat here. This came in and actually another thing that's interesting is, I'll just turn it over, you can't really see, but this is the original folio that it came in. So it identifies the maker on the exterior of this paper folio, which is nice. Haven't seen one before, so it was interesting. Um, and so here we have another Japanese woodblock print, and this one is by Shio Kasamatsu, which is also quite nice of the roofs here, and this is estimated at three to five hundred. And if we just turn around real quick, we're just going to touch on a few pieces of furniture. We have this lovely pair of carved wood chairs. So there's a cushion to the seat, but there's mother of pearl inlay, and then these very nice bird and flower panels that are carved into the back. So really a nice attention to detail. A beautiful orange Chinese jardinier or fishbowl. Nice color, unusual. And there's cutouts to the stem of the base, which is nice also. Uh, we have this pair of hardwood stands. Um, came from a Long Island estate, estimated at four to 600, but they're really quite nice, heavy. Um, and then if you just spin around, we're gonna take a look, just touch briefly. A beautiful pair of carved wood chairs. What makes them quite nice is their horseshoe back panels and then this panel here with the carved kind of scholars items, bat, some other items here. These are estimated at 8 to 1200. The pair of red lacquered garden stools are accompanied by this beautiful sideboard or chest um, and jade poles. So these are quite nice. And then last but not least, we're going to end here with this pair of garden stools. So these are Fami Rose, nice size. One has a blue ground, one has a black ground, but they're well matched to one another um, and quite nice. And last but not least, we're going to end here with this four panel inlaid Chinese screen. Um, so you can see here that each of these panels are decorated with flowers um, and they're carved stone or jade. And there's also scholars items. So there's censers, there's bowls, flowers, etc. But the attention to detail with the mother of pearl inlay here is also quite nice. And this is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. And that wraps it up for our Asian selection for the June 5th sale. We hope to see you there.